Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and today we are back with some Infinite Warfare, and we're going to be trying to get our Titan Gold. So we are very close on it. We need nine more sets of three enemies without dying. Um, so what I'm going to try to do here is probably, it'll definitely take a couple of matches, but I'm going to try to record that and just kind of uh, cut them up into a little bit of a montage here. So let's get to it. Let's get to work. Alright, didn't get any of the first match. Let's see what we can do here. Got thrown in kind of late into that one. Round two. We got five on that last one. Fire, fire. I have to keep it's gonna be an interesting map to do it on.
There it is. That wasn't too bad of a kill to get on. So, what was my strategy for, um, <laughs> as soon as I start talking, I start dying. Um, so, kind of looking at my uh, strategy for getting this LMG gold, and really any of them, one of the biggest things I'll tell you is pre-aim corners and corridors. Don't camp, because I don't really like campers. Like that guy just crouched in the back. What are you doing? Um, but pre-aim before you run around a corner, you're not going to be able to get your gun up as fast as a guy running an LMG, uh, SMG, just like that situation right there, um, and that one. They're also able to track faster on targets and all of that. Um, the other thing is, for the headshot side of it, play tactical. You'll be able to get one hit headshots, especially with the uh, raw, without any special attachments on the raw. Uh, the Titan, I, th I think it'll headshot within a certain range, uh, but definitely if you put on whichever attachment it is that increases headshot damage. Wow. Um, another thing is the VMC sight reduces the recoil and weapon sway by quite a lot. It's a very useful attachment. Um, whoa! What new world? Okay. Well, I must have been talking and not listening to what was actually happening. Um, it's terrible. We're gonna lose every single match that we do. That thing killed me before it came around the corner. Um, and then. Alright. I think the guy behind me might have been. So, there's the LMG's gold, and uh, yeah, somehow he shot through me and killed the guy in the back. Mission failure, and I require a reboot. You are an effective right. soldier. And, uh, again, good time to use a double XP token. I don't know why I save them so much. I, I need to use them a little bit more often. Um, and I'm really close to the next prestige. So, not the greatest game, 25-14, but a fury kill. Uh, had some really good moments in that. I've also gotten to where I'm shooting for the head a lot more because of grinding out 160 headshots with each of those weapons. Uh, so, let's throw this camo on. Doesn't really look the greatest, but in a match, it looks much better. Um, but yeah, so that is, at this point, the assault rifles with the exception of the DLC ones. The SMGs with the exception of DLC. Well, I do have the trencher, and I'm close on the VPR, so that won't be too long. The LMGs and the shotguns. So, you're soon going to be seeing some sniping videos from me. I have not sniped a lot in this game. I have started back with the longbow. Um, and eventually I'll get along to the classic weapons. I already have the Ravage. Um, but grinding out headshots is just a pain. That's probably one of the most painful parts. The handguns I've worked on a little bit. But again, the headshots. Kind of wish they would have reduced the number for the challenge for the pistols. Um, 160 headshots with an assault rifle takes long enough, but with a pistol, that's going to be a while. Partly due to the decreased range and all of that. I guess I'll have to play some hardcore or tactical or something. Um, but anyways, this is Stonewall signing off, and I'll see you in another video.